So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a little unboxing. Yeah, we got the BAM Horror Box with a damn hole in it. Um, yeah, w this is uh, wrapping up pretty soon here at the end of the year. So with this is probably the October and when you get to November and the December. So yeah, um, going to wrap this up. So let's get into this box and let's see if we get anything good this month. What are we waiting for? Let's go. What's in the fucking box? It's a mystery. It's a mystery wrapped in a riddle inside an enigma. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. That's me, and this is me. I'm your host, as always, Jeff Man 316 and we're getting into the BAM Horror Box. Looks like, damn, somebody already tried to get into that thing. Look at that hole in it. Hopefully there's nothing in here damaged. They've uh, only got a couple more boxes left. They're going to quit doing the Horror Boxes at the end of the year, so I'll probably get a different kind after this, but last month this was still laying here it's the spoiler sheet they're so lazy now they they put one of these in each box and you get a you do the scan and then you can actually look up um every month as they add to the boxes so uh this was uh, the october 2023 box the uh, movies inc included are my bloody valentine texas chainsaw west craven universe and salem's lot so i haven't opened this yet other than cutting the plastic it sounds like i said shit but either way something really silly here but so texas chainsaw massacre is one movie in here and this i guess it's the original um because it's the pin so as you can see there leather face mask that's a really nice looking pin i'm assuming that there's a bit glitter variant that obviously i didn't get so this is just the standard variant i gave uh roll my eyes a little bit on the next one i'm assuming this next thing is salem's lot gotta be fucking kidding bam what the fuck <laughs> two tongue depressors taped together with what would be medical tape so they basically got a pack of sticks at the dollar tree and a pack of tape at the dollar tree and probably could make 50 of these <laughs> i'd buy that for a dollar this is pretty pathetic. I know you're wrapping up, but you could at least give your long uh, standing subscriber something better than fucking tongue depressor or popsicle sticks taped together. Come on now. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Where's the Tylenol? <sighs> Insane. All right, well, hopefully the last two things in this box are way better. So the autograph should be either My Bloody Valentine or something Wes Craven related. So here's the art print. So I guess going to be the Wes Craven related one. This is $2.91 out of $2,000, so I didn't get a variant. Usually the variants are like $50 or $100. So you can see that's going to be Hills Have Eyes. It's got some um, Last House on the left there. Got Swamp Thing in the middle. So I'm not going to try to name all of them, but that's kind of cool. That's a decent art print. So, hey, the um, the autograph should be My Bloody Valentine. Sorry, I hit the mic. So I'm not going to look at it. Let's, uh, let's look at it together. Oh, that's a cool little print there. So who was the actor? I think his name was uh, Peter Cowper or something like that. Is that what that says? Peter, looks like Cowper, the Miner. So this is the actor that actually played the Miner. Hey, I got one of the variants. This is 74 out of 250. So that is kind of, that's pretty damn cool. <laughs> wow, so hey, okay. So this was, this is total horseshit right here. But hey, this made up for it. But not everybody gets a variant, but I guess having the signature of the Miner kind of makes it up for it. So, all right, well, and then they didn't even have a damn scan card in here. So if I didn't have this laying here from last month, 
uh, we I'd have been screwed trying to remember the names of the movie. So I'll put the card up here over top of my ugly mug. You can see there's some variants. There was the poster artwork for my bloody Valentine. You could have got. I don't know what the difference in the variants are there in the um, West Craven universe. Then you get the movie inspired Salem's Lot um, prop. That's that's not very uh, inspirational. Um, and then you got the pins of Leatherface and a chainsaw. I'm actually glad I got one of the leather fa leather faces. It'd have been nice to, for the enamel pin to be the variant, which would be glitter. But um, but yeah, hey, um, I don't know. I have to come up with some kind of thumbnail for this. So um, it's kind of it's a good box, but I don't know what the what the hell to think of this. So I'm warding off evil spirits for the next couple months. Don't send me shit, bam. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Jeff Man three one six compels you. So yeah, what do you think? Like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the normal YouTube stuff. Let me know what you think of this box and if you think this is horse shit just like I do. But either way, um, after you do all the normal YouTube stuff, don't forget to hit the notification bell. You'll know when I post new videos. So until next time, boys and girls, when we hopefully unbox something a little bit better than this right here, but something as good as this, this is JeffMan316. I'm your pop culture reporter. I'm signing out saying you guys be safe out there. That's it. I'm out of here.